Welcome to my unboxing of the Linksys E1550 wireless end router with speed boost and probably the biggest feature of this one, considering that this is a more value-oriented router, is the inclusion of the USB storage store and share. So I'm going to go ahead and get the packaging off here and why don't we open it up? Whoa, it's okay. Everything's okay. The router's fine. Comes with a power adapter and it comes with a router and a Linksys E-Series setup CD. Something that's kind of cool that you may or may not know about Linksys routers is that no matter which tier of product you're buying, the very highest end or the very lowest end is exactly the same setup process. Very, very simple. We did actually try the Linksys setup procedure with our uh, range extender, so that was pretty easy. Okay, we've also got an Ethernet cable, and I think Slick's laughing because I'm trying to hide my cut finger <laughs> from the camera. Yes, I'm bleeding. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You know, this happens all the time. It's like, it's, you know, it's a box cut, right? Um, actually, it's from my knife. But, yeah. So, basically, with all of my unboxings, I should probably be including, like, a warning. Like, don't try this at home because you could end up with blood on your finger. Okay. So, but seriously, blood's not funny. AIDS and stuff. Features and specifications. Uh, he wants me to change the angle, so I'm going to go ahead and sort of adjust it here. Features and specifications. Wireless end, built with leading 802.11N technology for top performance and range. Broad compatibility, works seamlessly with uh, backwards compatible as well as end devices. 2.4 gigahertz band, so this is not a dual band router. This is a fairly basic router. High speed, up to 300 megabit per second. So this is not quite that basic because it's not wireless N150. It is more like full wireless N, which is 300 megabit. There are 450 megabit megabit products, but right now they command a pretty serious premium over the 300 megabit products. Extended range. Oh, look at that. This has a MIMO antenna. Okay. Okay, so this is actually a fairly serious business router then. Speed boost increases signal strength across greater distances. Good stuff. Uh, advanced security. That's pretty much standard right there. Fast Ethernet ports. So four 1000 ports. This is mostly intended for a home where you're predominantly using the wireless and you're not relying too much on the wired. Otherwise, you're going to want to step up to a gigabit router. Uh, we've also got the USB storage port, so add external storage and share files across your network. So, this isn't for serious file sharing because, like I said, this is a 1000 router, so it's not like you're going to go and put, like, you know, 10 terabytes of data onto this share port here and expect to be, you know, accessing it in a reasonable amount of time. You are going to want a higher end router for that. No, this is more for your casual things. So, you throw external hard drive on there, you put your photos or you put, you know, a couple, you know, funny videos or whatever that you want grandpa to see when he comes over, you pull them out on your tablet or whatever, you shift through them. That's the intended purpose of something like this. This is not like to, you know, run nightly backups of all your PCs and restore from it and do like crazy massive amounts of data. So let's just have a close look at the router because it looks pretty much like uh, most of the other Linksys uh, routers out there right now. We've got our four 1000 ports, our WAN port, our reset button, our power LED, as well as our power input port. We have, oh, look at this, tampering with or disassembling this device voids the warranty, so please don't open it up. You shouldn't need to open it up anyway, it's got lots of cooling anyway, and uh, I, hold on a second, I'll be back. Slick's trying to still say something. Slick says, I failed to mention the USB when I was pointing at all the ports on the back. I'm sure that was worth interrupting the video for. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've got ventilation slots around all edges of this router, so there shouldn't be pretty much any need to open it up because it's got lots of cooling either way. And did I say this was reset? What I really meant was WPS. This is for one-touch setup. The reset button is actually down here. And then we've got little rubberized grippy bits here, which are going to keep it from sliding around when you put it down. And that's pretty much it. This is the E1550 wireless end router with speed boost. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.